Quick question for you at the start of the segment. How many megapixels does the smartphone in your pocket really have? Would you say 16 megapixel, 12 megapixel, 48 megapixel? Give me a number. What if I told you that there's a mid-range 5G smartphone now in the market, which comes with not even 50 or 100 megapixel, but all the way up to 200 megapixel. But does megapixels really matter? Does it determine picture quality? That's a debate I do want to get into, but I do want to cursorily mention that there's things like lens, sensor size and of course the computational algorithm that that smartphone company is using how the iphone optimizes the image or how google pixel does it in low light that is really the usp when it comes to smartphone cameras now we have a lens over here this is a tele lens that we use on the show for all sorts of cool shots especially from a distance what maybe one one and a half lakh rupees yes we've gotten the nod from our dop that's how much you'd be spending on this particular device and then I got this parcel, which had a lot of us in the studio confused, which looks like a massive, massive lens. It says 200 megapixel Super OIS, 24mm. And of course, this is not the original lens, but it's much bigger than this guy. Now this, I think will cost around 20% or one fifth of this real lens. But then if you open this up, you realize that this is just a box. And this is your unboxing of the new Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus. The first 200 megapixel camera that we've had on Tech Today. So let's unbox it. Now, obviously, after the ceremonial unboxing, you're left with this device and a 120 watt charger in box and, of course, the USB-C cable. This, I think, is only for us on Tech Today as a special review sort of unit. You're going to get the box that we showed you that we plucked out from inside. Now, it's fairly light when you're holding it as first impressions and it's a little different from its predecessor, the 11 series, because now you see this very classy white color with a glass back and of course, a plastic chassis, and then this silver sort of frame which houses the camera. And the two real USBs for this device at this price point happen to be one, the camera system, which we're gonna be putting through its paces, and two, the display. If you look at this device, it looks fairly premium for a mid-range 5G smartphone. I think the color selection really dials things up a notch. This white sort of glass back, like I said, looks great. The camera looks very classy and it can be a conversation starter. If you look at the display and you crank up the brightness, then this AMOLED display really does pack a punch. Talking about the specs of the display, it comes with a 6.67 inch AMOLED display with an FHD plus resolution, a maximum refresh rate of 120 Hz, which is standard on a lot of devices now, but a touch sampling rate, which goes all the way up to 240 Hz. The phone is incredibly bright if you want it to be. And for a phone at this price point, if it goes up to 900 nits of peak brightness, that's what the company claims. And honestly, I think the proof is in the pudding. It is incredibly bright when you do use it. I don't think the camera is doing it justice. That's one other big feature with a billion colors. And most importantly, it comes with, wait for it, HDR 10 plus and Dolby Vision support on this particular device. Let's open up a video and see exactly how that really works. Mind-boggling display. I'm telling you this is comparable almost to flagships. But the real question is, is this 200 megapixel number for the camera just a gimmick or could it truly be a game changer when it comes to mid-range Android smartphones? Now, it's not an apples to apples comparison, but we also had the Pixel 7 Pro with us, the undisputed king of the Android smartphone camera world. And we thought not to really compare the two, but just to get a yardstick of the best Android camera and what this camera can do with a 200 megapixel spec. Here's what we found. So much has been said about the Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus 200 megapixel camera, 
Firstly, if you want to actually use that 200 megapixel mode or a 50 megapixel mode, you have to go in more in the settings, as my expert camera person has pointed out, and then you can compare it maybe to the best Android shooter we think of all time in low light, in good daylight situations, well-lit situations, the Pixel 7 Pro. Now this is in its standard mode. This guy is in 200 megapixel. We have a nice little shot right over here. We can go on taking many more shots, but just to give you some perspective, both well lit and action. Almost at the same time, if you zoom in, and you know what, you get a nice little viewfinder right there. It's a 200 megapixel preview. And whilst you're zooming in, I'm gonna zoom into the pixel as well. Let me tell you this. Some people might say this, that the 200 megapixel bit is a gimmick, but honestly, the pixel is ironically pixelating a bit. The 200 megapixel isn't. I don't know if it's this preview mode. It'll be nice to put this out on a billboard or a big screen and see how this looks. But in terms of color, I think the pixel's doing a better job than this Redmi phone. But what does that actually mean? What that actually means is that if you take any phone nowadays, even a mid-range phone and compare it to a flagship, in well-lit scenarios, they'll do a fairly decent job. They all come with decent Snapdragon chipsets or even MediaTek. In, in this particular case, and then of course, the Bionic chipsets with Apple devices. Video is another thing we must actually check with these phones, and most importantly, this 200 megapixel, 50 megapixel mode will not work in low light scenarios. It needs to be in a well lit scenario, much like action mode on the iPhone 14 Pro. So let's actually test this and pit it against, I know, the Pixel 7 Pro in a low light mode, just to see what a phone like this can do, and maybe we'll be surprised. Here are some shots we took with this particular camera. And honestly, like I said in the day, it's quite a stellar performer. But the sun sets and we take it out in the night, heading to all of Mumbai's iconic landmarks. And if you look at some of these photos and videos independently, they'll be absolutely fine. Well, back to the studio, and like I said, the 200 megapixel feature on the camera is not a gimmick, but it's not a necessity. That said, if you're investing under 30,000 rupees, or under 35,000 rupees in a smartphone, which brings me to my verdict, and you want some unique selling point, because it's a very cluttered space, and it's good to see that someone's coming with fast charging in interesting ways, with bigger batteries, dynamic island in the higher end phones, very interesting optimizations on the Pixel 7 Pro, and then these sort of standout features, like a 200 megapixel camera, which strangely as a separate mode does work, but it does require you to be in a well-lit environment. And it comes with a fair bit of detail, so kudos to them for that. But if this was a slightly better tuned camera, especially in night mode, and it didn't over-process the selfies in low light situations, then we'd be able to give it maybe a Tech Today 2023 award at the end of the year. For now, it's a step in the right direction and I can see at this price point, with these features, with this display, Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos support, and this design, at this price point, I can see a lot of people going for the Redmi Note 12 Pro Plus 5G. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.